Number seven, factor the trinomials. Make sure you take out the common terms. You can't take out a common term on this because 13 has this prime. Okay, so I'm going to draw my two parentheses. The plus drops. This sign's minus. It means the signs are going to be different. Okay, I have two sets of factors of six. So I'm going to put one in six with two bars and two and three with two bars. And my only factors of five are one and five. I need to subtract and get 13. So the five goes here, the one goes here. This should be quicker. 15 and two, draw your X. Okay, 15 minus two is our 13. 15 is bigger, circle this. This number goes right here, doesn't it? And it matches up with the two. So I have two X plus five. And over here, I have three X minus one. So if you multiply this, you'll get the six X squared plus 13 X minus five. Okay, on this one right here, can we factor out a term? We cannot. The only factors of 21 are 3 and 7, and they don't go into 4 or 8. So draw your two sets of parentheses. The minus drops. This minus means we're going to subtract, so the signs have to be different. The factors of 4 are 1 and 4. Draw your two blanks. And 2 and 2. Draw your two blanks. Factors of 21 are 1 and 21, and 3 and 7. We need to subtract and get 8. Mm, I see what works. 3 and 7. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 7 is 14. 14 minus 6 is 8 in it. Draw your bar in here. 14 is bigger. Circle the 7. The 2 and 7 go first. So 2x minus 7 and 2x plus 3. Okay, boom. Okay, right here. Simplify the radical expressions. Oh, oh, oh. Leave the answer in radical form. Radicals rule. Okay, so 27, let's put as 9 times 3. Remember, it helps if you have your... These numbers are awesome. 964, 81. These are the perfect squares right here. So the perfect square that goes into 27 is 9 and 3. Underline the 3. The square root of 9 is 3. And we're going to do 3 times 5 is 15, and I'm going to have square root of 3. Now then I'm going to go to the next one, 48. 16 goes into 48, doesn't it? So I have 16 times 3. Underline the 3. The square root of 16 is 4, and I have the minus. So minus 4 square root of 3. 75. 25 goes into 75, doesn't it? So 25 times 3. Underline the 3. The square root of 25 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. And notice these are all square root of 3, so I could combine them. 15 minus 4 is 11, and 11 plus 10 is 21. So I have 21 square root of 3. Ho, 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 ho. Okay, over here, we have 20. 4 works, so we're going to put 4 times 5. Underline the 5. Let's do 45. That's going to be 9 times 5. And 500 is going to be 100 times 5, isn't it? Notice that I'm going to have a square root of 5 on each one, will not I? The square root of 4 is 2, and 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. The square root of 9 is 3. 3 times a negative is ooh, square root of 5. Negative 3 square root of 5. And then the square root of 100 is 10, and 10 times 4 is 40 square root of 5. So 10 minus 3 is negative 13, and negative 13 plus 40 is 27 square root of 5. Ho, 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 ho. A hint on your test tomorrow. Ding, 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 ding. Hint, hint, hint. One of the answers. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Aren't you glad you're watching? One of the answers is B. And I'm going to put at least one. Oh, ho, ho, ho. At least one of the answers on the test is B. That's giving you some help.